Hey and welcome to a very sunny day. Welcome to the Foundry. My name is Raymond and this is The Dream. You might be asking why I'm sitting next to uh, this broccoli over here and that's because last vlog I told you we were gonna harvest it and I thought it's the most fun to harvest stuff so let's start with that right away. Now this broccoli has been grown for quite some time now, actually a little bit too long, but it is 100% ready and uh, we are about to cut it off. Now, one thing that I want to say before we do that is that it is actually really good to cut it off and leave the rest in there because side shoots will follow and there will be more harvest from the broccoli. All right, let's cut it off. And there we have it, a nice broccoli. Like I said, it's always fun to harvest. First harvest of the day, maybe we'll do some more but uh, for now, this is it. Let's uh, continue. Now, after harvesting the broccoli, Nicole just forced me to actually eat uh, a blueberry. Never had one before in my life, but she's been growing them here. So uh, let's do a test. Wow. Wow. That, Jesus, that is so much flavor. I did not expect that. All right, let's continue. <laughs> now, the plan was to actually clean out the chicken coop now, but uh, it is really hot. so. I'm first gonna change clothes. All right, that's better. Let's clean the coop. I'm just gonna add everything from the chickens into a compost bin, which is filling up quite nicely. Splash of water on top, and I'm just gonna till it because it is about time. Look at the soil inside. It looks quite good. Now what you're probably able to tell from this shot is that we have a mess in our backyard. We've been moving a lot, we've been building a lot, we've been doing a lot, but we haven't really took any time to clean it out. So let's do a little time lapse with that. Let's go. There it is. The backyard is a little bit cleaner. A few backs in the back there, but it's actually gonna go to our neighbor. It's filled with sand and he needs to fill up a gap. So we're gonna do that probably next week or something like that. But uh, yeah, not too shabby. Let's move to the front yard because there's a few more things we need to do. I just wanna go and start harvesting these other pointed cabbages. This is a really good one, really firm, really big. So I like it a lot and this one, uh, has had a lot of issues with the caterpillars and uh, it is doing okay. I stripped down a few layers, but it seems to be okay on the inside, but it's a little bit smaller. So we'll have to do with that, but let's cut these out and uh, we're gonna actually interplant these with some beans. Just wanted to go ahead and show you guys, took out the outer leaves and uh, look at that beautiful pointed cabbage. So really gonna enjoy eating this one. We're now gonna get a little bit of the roots out and then plant in the beans. Since we opened up so much space, we're taking out the pointed cabbages. I'm actually gonna spread it out here a little bit, make some room because we're gonna put in beans. Now, uh, these are dwarf French beans and we're gonna do two different, uh, two, I made three, two different types. One of them we're gonna grow for the beans. Uh, that's actually gonna be the brown beans and the other one is uh, just for the peas themselves. Let's get them in. Now my plan was to actually plant uh, five in a row for each of them, but only uh, a few actually germinated. So I planted some more up top, but that's actually great because then we can plant them in succession and have a longer harvest. And there they are planted. So I'm just gonna give them a good water, make sure they stay safe in their spot, add the mulch back on top and uh, add the other beans later when they're ready. Now to end this day off, I'm gonna feed the scraps to uh, the deers. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, consider uh, hitting that like button, and don't forget to live the fun dream. Hey.